Well, this Independence Day was as special as they come for one family celebrating their first July 4th as Americans. Reporter Nicole Lee joins us in the studio with her heartwarming story. Nicole. That's right, Jennifer. The Manarijo family fled the war-torn Democratic Republic of the Congo in hope of a better life. And they say they found it here in Erie. Just two weeks ago, the Manarillo family arrived in the United States, more specifically here in Erie. On this 4th of July, they celebrated our country's birthday for the first time, playing lawn games in their new yard and singing. Happy birthday to you. To be here, it is the result of the independence the United States has got. Frederick Manarillo fled the war-torn Democratic Republic of the Congo with his wife and three children. They hoped to find a safe place to live in Uganda, but he says their struggle had just begun. In Uganda, I could not find food for family. Making matters worse, their youngest child has a serious medical condition. My child was sick enough and he didn't have any treatment support. Uh, he was very sick, operated four times with no permanent solution. The Manorio family says Erie is fulfilling their American dream with affordable housing, healthy food, good hospitals and schools. They even like the weather. People here, they are kind. Yeah. So kind. A lovely, welcoming community. Number two, the good climate. Reaching here, we found good people, good help, and now I'm very happy. As for celebrating the 4th of July? I think we shall go to see fireworks, we eat some cookies. The Manorio family also spent today walking around the city, getting to know their new neighbors and surroundings. Jennifer? What a beautiful family. All right, Nicole Lee in our studio tonight. Thank you, Nicole.